another day at Wrench Fest Garage and we're gonna go do a little bit of jeeping today in the old Jeep. So today we're gonna go do Tower Arch Trail, which is in Arches Park. Um, it's one of the very few trails you can do in a Jeep, have an off-road trail, but uh, we've done it once before. Great trail, nothing too tough or technical, just a lot of natural beauty. So we're gonna go check it out, see if the Jeep survives it. Last time I did this trail, I was blowing a lot of oil out the dipstick and it wasn't a good thing. So uh, we topped off the oil before we left and hopefully uh, she'll do okay. Worst case scenario, I guess we'll be dragging her back to the trailer, but we'll see how she goes today. about I don't know 30 miles some of the highway some of the dirt road and probably an average of well probably the fastest we went is probably about 45 and on this dirt road is a lot slower maybe 20 25 anyway it's back to throwing oil out the dipstick tube I don't know if you can get the camera down here but it's blowing it all over here it's coming out the dipstick tube and kind of running everywhere so I should probably do the right thing and check the oil but I don't have any with me, so we're just gonna hope for the best. If it scatters its guts out all over the trail, I guess we'll drag it back to the trailer and take it home and put a new engine in it. But for now, we're gonna hope for the best. And I do carry a couple fire extinguishers, so if it catches on fire, hopefully it won't burn down a national park or something silly like that, so I don't go to prison. But yeah we're just gonna keep motoring on it's a beautiful day it's a little cloudy and it's a little cold again today but uh there's nobody out here we got the whole place to ourselves so it's pretty great So we made it to Tower Arch, it's amazing.
This is the rental Morocco that's uh, in our group today. Uh, my son and his friend rented this. It is a Sasquatch edition. Uh, it's got 315 70R 17-inch tires on it, which I think is basically a 35-inch tire. I think it's pretty stock Bronco. It does pretty good. And it's green. Oh, and it's got lockers front and rear. It's got some other stuff, some turning assist stuff, stuff like that. So pretty sweet Bronco. This is the red Jeep. This is the other Jeep in our group today. Um, I've talked about this Jeep before on my channel. This is the Jeep I've owned for like 20 years. It is a 1949 CJ3A. Willis, Willies, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. But anyway, I've had this Jeep a long time. Um, it has a 4.3 engine in it, which is a GM engine, uh, SM465 transmission, a Model 18 transfer case, and Dana 44's front and rears with lockers. Also has 35 inch tires on it, so it's running on a DIY bead locks. And this is basically my little Jeep. So this is basically the inside of the little red Jeep. It's kind of a mess. It gets dirty a lot and doesn't get cleaned a lot. So it is what it is. But anyway, so the Model 18 transfer case, it has two shifters. The little one is for high and low range and neutral. And the big one, or the middle one, I guess I should say, is to put it in and out of four wheel drive. This Jeep, like I said, has a four speed SM 465 transmission. Uh, it's just an old GM transmission. I think this one's out of like a 72 GMC truck. Anyway, we got some, uh, I can't remember what these gauges are. Yeah, we got some custom gauges. We've got the locker switches down here. Uh, got tilt column, just kind of some old school stuff. Like I said, this build's at least 15 years old and even the parts back then were old. So <laughs> yeah, it's a good old Jeep, lots of fun. So we just sat down, had some lunch, and hiked over to the Eye of the Well Arch. Pretty cool. So we're headed back to the highway. We're coming out of Arch and we're on the main road. This uh, engine's spewing oil pretty good. Hopefully we're going to make it back to the truck, but we're getting close, so I think we might actually make it. Well, it's spewing oil bad enough. We're getting oil on the outside of the engine compartment. This is kind of underneath the hood by the fender. So let's pop this hood open and see what it looks like under here. So we got oil up on the hood right here. It's all coming down the side of the hood. This is all just oil coming out of the dipstick tube. So yeah, it's getting pretty bad. It's down there on the frame. And over here on the other side of the motor, it's starting to come out of the cap, the fill cap. So we got a little bit of oil coming out of here, out of the fill cap. It's just getting, it's wore out. So it's time to re go ahead and replace this motor. Start over with something fresh. So this motor has been in this Jeep for 15 years and it's had uh, basically the cheapest rebuild kit I could get. I put rings in it and bearings and seals in it. And it was just a super cheap kit. I did just a quick hone job on it. I can't even really remember doing anything to the heads. I probably done valve seals and that's about it. So consider it went 15 years and a very cheap uh, haphazard rebuild. Pretty happy with it, but it's kind of a bummer. So, however, though, before we Go ahead and do this motor. We got to finish up the Ford project, the dent side project. So you'll see more of that on the channel. So we're back at the Airbnb. We got our Jeep all loaded up. It was a great day on the trail. Weather was perfect, hardly any people. It was pretty awesome. So everybody, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Like, comment, and subscribe.